Bonjour, bienvenue, financial fam. I would like to welcome you guys to my new channel, Malcolm McFly TV, the millionaire millennial, where we talk about everything finance, currencies, training markets, and everything of the like. Very, very, very excited, guys. I've had a <laughs> a brief hiatus, but this crypto market, it just keeps you coming back, right? Now, as the title suggests, um, I want to discuss very briefly are we in the genesis of a bull market or will we see slight retracement as well as some slight current events? Now, without further ado, as we're looking at the market, I like coin checkup, by the way, obviously. But as we're looking at the market, we see everything is literally in green over the past week. Everything is in green. And I like to... Um, I like to compare and contrast, obviously. So if we go to the beginning of this year, uh, we're not quite in the middle of the year yet or in the third quarter, but we're, we're nearly there. So if we go back to January 1st of this year, 2019, Bitcoin was at 37.75. And that was when, you know, we had the rumors of, oh, we could fall sub 2000, 1000, 5000, which I wouldn't have mind. That's just a greater accumulation. Present day now, we're right below 8000. I think right before I went to sleep, I think we just like 8300 or something like that. So not to say 1500 or 2000 isn't possible, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. XRP right now, 42 cents now anyone who's an xrp lover knows this is a huge breakout this is probably one of the most sideways trading coins in the top 10 if not in all cryptocurrencies uh started this year at about 35 cents 35 and a half cents usually medians at about what 33 34 cents so that we the fact that we pushed post 40 cents is very very optimistic for xrp fans along with you know the the constant adoption and news we get week by week by week and hopefully i hope it's uh very very soon the number two currency uh about what 60 to 70 cents it all its market cap will already exceed ethereum so definitely something to look for for um now obviously i'm not gonna go over every coin <laughs> i'm not gonna be biased and just have every coin i have but i am gonna go over coins that i thought made a nice jump that if you know you would have put a little something in at the beginning of the year or maybe around christmas you'll have a nice return right let's look at cardano very briefly cardano right now is sitting at eight cents uh beginning of this year was four cents so that's just an easy double whatever you put in um everyone who loves cardano is a long time hodler i think their vision exceeds 2020 and it's going to be fun i think this is going to be very fun to see how far uh cardano goes especially with the mous the memorandum memorandum excuse me of understandings with various countries and african countries so i eagerly 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 wait to see what charles hoskinson has in store with cardano now binance binance is gonna be fun to talk about today because let's see january 1st let me see january 1st binance was five dollars and 99 cents that's not bad at all because present day we're at 25 dollars and 25 cents so that's nearly a five time x off your investment now um more interesting news about binance binance I'm not sure if it's currently, it should still currently be under maintenance, but everyone who has an account obviously knows that uh, withdrawals and deposits were halted um, slightly after the crypto hack. I think someone got away with, what was the number? 4,000 Bitcoin, 7,000 Bitcoin, something like that. I think it was like $40 million or something, but yeah, all... Uh, you could still trade on Binance, which was cool, but you couldn't uh, deposit, withdraw anything. I do believe that will be rectified by the end of today, if not tomorrow, though. So, you know, sucks. Uh, exchanges get hacked. You know, if it can be made, it can be hacked. But that doesn't um, negate the fact that Binance has shot up tremendously from the beginning of this year. Speaking of hacks as well. um anyone who's been in the space just for a little bit or at least um did a little research on various exchanges seeing the safest place to store your currency you might have came across a uh, cryptopia uh new zealand exchange uh not too not too um actually you know we'll get into that later we'll get into that later long story short uh cryptopia was hacked as well <laughs> and now they're uh they're halting their um deposit withdrawal so i don't know if this is a trend 
for exchanges if so, if everyone's just low key getting their bags out the way before the bull run we know how coinbase does right <laughs> or if this is legit like you know exchanges getting hit getting hit getting hit but um still doesn't deter this bull run if anything it's just another hurdle to jump over but lastly the last coin we'll look at at least um to compare from the beginning of this year oh wow let's look at neo okay neo okay this is one of those biased things right <laughs> neo uh january 1st 2019 we were at seven dollars and 58 cents so not too much of a jump it was at 12 dollars something earlier but we all know the incentive of neo you know one of the very few staking coins along with the dash a lot of coins flirt with the possibility of staking but we we still have yet to see them but neo along with ontology by the way allows you to stake so that's a huge heavy incentive um to hold on to the chinese crypto plus uh i can see from the small time investor you know we're we're not jp morgan jamie diamond or anything like that so the small average joe investor 100 neo it could really be situation changing next year in a couple years so it's definitely something to aspire to definitely something to look forward to but um enough of just looking at coins enough of just talk about how much i could have made and discipline and all that stuff right there we clearly see that we could very well be in a bull market or at least in the beginning of a bull market now the only question is um how long would this last before we find slight retrace so we can get a steady median of where to go because we sit at about 244 billion dollars it's not bad it's about what a third no a little oh, what a fourth of a, the all-time high so we have a long way to go but it's still smart to plot entry points i've um I guess I'm proud to say I'm no longer a novice in crypto. Crypto moves so fast, but I am adept though. Very, very adept. Adept enough to plot price points, be savvy enough with my limit and market orders, and be patient. That's probably the most important rule I can impart on any new investor or, or any um, legacy investor. Patience. You know, sometimes we want those coins right, right, right now, but we, we keep forgetting about the beauty of a limit order. <laughs> moving on now we talked about cryptopia previously very briefly now very brief just like binance cryptopia was hacked as well now i'm not sure of course you know if this is inside outside i just think it's um I don't know. Just think it's a little coincidence that now if another exchange gets hacked, then I'm going to uh, I'm really going to have my tinfoil hat on. Right. Like we're in a bull market now. All of a sudden, all this money is being extracted. But Cryptopia is not a huge exchange, uh, at least when I was using there. They probably grew, but they had like some of the smaller uh, market cap coins on there. Uh, they were no you can just put your coin on there even if you just made it. So. Uh, the guidelines might not be as strict as a Binance, definitely not as strict as a Coinbase, but um, it's an exchange nonetheless. I'm glad I don't have anything on there anymore. <laughs> Man, now to anyone who's watched uh, MSNBC or um, just happened to pass it you know, on your TV, on your computer, whatever, uh, you would know that we're in the middle of consensus, right? Like a huge blockchain conference. You know, it's like a progress report, right? You just host the where we are, where we aspire to be, blah, 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 all that. Now, this, I really wanted to go, but this consensus seems to be, very, it brings a lot of enthusiasm because I distinctly remember Bitcoin just being around, you know, just around 57, 5,800 week after week. You can get a good 2 to 3% add to your, you know, add to your portfolio. Now, ever since, I'm not saying it's because of consensus, but um, I don't put it past it that it shot up over $1,500. That's, that's, that's pretty um, that's pretty amazing. Plus, the adoption of Bitcoin only furthers and furthers and furthers. Now, remember, cryptocurrency may still be a very new word to some people, but Bitcoin is no longer a new word. We now have eBay, Starbucks, and Whole Foods simultaneously saying that they now accept Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency. So we have to unpack that because Bitcoin right now uh, has a $141 billion market cap. 
and climbing. That exceeds every... eBay only has $32 billion market cap. That is like... All right, that's large. I'm about to say Ethereum's larger. No. Starbucks has $93 billion. That is pretty large. Whole Foods, only $13.4 billion. So, like, Ripple... <laughs> Ripple's market cap is larger than Whole Foods. But nonetheless... These huge market cap companies are finally, I'm not going to say coalescing, but they're finally, they're playing smart. We hear the Jamie Demons, we hear the Kevin O'Leary's, uh, the Warren Buffett's just talking very ill and spreading fear and dissension on two investors. But you guys have to realize, man, reading is fundamental. <laughs> Oh, not to be too long with it. We're about to wrap this up. Uh, I found another story I thought that was really, really, really cool. If you guys remember last year when we were all talking about the um, crypto adoption and what's going to get it to the next phase, you know, maybe we need celebrities and or politicians to endorse. And we got our wish. We, uh, You guys remember Floyd Mayweather along with DJ Khaled, 50 Cent, uh, the Katy Perry, Snoop Dogg, uh, just a bevy of celebrities endorsing crypto now on this particular one we remember floyd mayweather and dj khaled sponsoring a ico and this is when the you know icos were coming out like every every week long story short the ico turned out to be fraudulent no surprise there now i don't necessarily expect uh floyd mayweather or dj khaled to be super financially savvy not saying that they're not smart gentlemen just saying that that's not their forte that's not how they got to where they are so it's cool to have people around you now um i have nothing disparaging to say obviously i mean if someone told you they were going to give you a hundred thousand dollars to promote their company uh, i'm sure you'll take it now unfortunately centra tech uh the charges have been dropped towards DJ Khaled and um, Money Mayweather, basically for a uh, little little to no evidence. It just didn't hold up in court. Now the guys who started this ICO, let's go back up a little bit, Centra Tech, they've been basically lying, <laughs> which isn't really new in the crypto space, but it is very, very dangerous. If you read this last paragraph in April, 2018, the SEC arrested and charged three founders of Centra Tech with securities and wire fraud of more than $25 million that was linked to the ICL. Damn. While the company claimed it had plans to launch a debit card backed by Visa and MasterCard, it later transpired that the startup had no such agreement in place. See? Man. Man, 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 man. This isn't the first time. Unfortunately, it won't be the last time. But if I can impart anything on any investor under the sound of my voice, practice patience and do your own research, guys. Do your own research. Don't be swindled by don't be swindled by me. Read something. If you if you hear something you like, look it up. We all have this super Zordon computer browser. <laughs> we can literally find out whatever we want. So verify 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 i thank you guys for lending me your time it is our most important asset and i just impart you be a part of the largest wealth transfer in human history guys look at it as a game how good do you want to be we out